Hello, good evening. This is Upstream Health with Ify. How is everyone doing? I hope everyone is doing good. So quickly, I'm going to be educating you guys about a danger in weight loss or some of the things you should be looking out for when you go um, shopping for a weight loss pill or weight loss supplement. Just a quick education okay and this also goes back to reading food labels always read always ask questions okay always read always consult your primary care doctor always consult a pharmacist friend or if you don't have if you don't have a, a pharmacist near you always call up someone to ask always research your phone is always google is always handy always ask questions always read so a very quick one on weight loss pills and supplements when you pick up a weight loss pill a weight loss pill or supplement or tea or in whatever form it comes always look at the food label you're gonna see caffeine right so you guys surprised caffeine is an active ingredient in most of weight loss weight loss or tea or diet pills or supplements so why caffeine so caffeine is a stimulant what is a stimulant a stimulant actually increases metabolism what is metabolism metabolism is breaking down food metabolism is releasing energy like when you eat Met, uh, metabolism helps you to break down that food and release energy and you find out that you're not storing fat in your body so you are not storing the fat in your body yes so that's why caffeine so in every individual in our brain we have chemicals called neurotransmitter we have a particular chemical called adenosine right this chemical actually keeps things going slow when we should be slow there are times we should be calm relaxed right so what caffeine does we don't forget we find also caffeine in coffee right so this also is um important to those taking coffee also so what uh, caffeine does it goes to the brain and goes to um, where the adenosine is supposed to attach it goes there to block off adenosine so what happens stimulation goes up like you're more active your metabolism goes up which means you're burning more uh, more uh, food or you're releasing more energy that's what you see happening you're sweating you're losing that fat so that's why you see uh, caffeine in a lot of weight loss pill so what I, what I need you to know is research recommendation has shown that a healthy individual needs 30 milligram to 300 milligram of caffeine in a day. That's about four cups of brewed coffee. And a cup is about 230 meals. So think about that. So for those who are taking co coffee, you shouldn't be getting more than four cups of coffee in a day. And if you uh, shopping for weight loss pills make sure the bag doesn't say it says less than 300 milligram of caffeine per pill because if it says take two pills in a day you should know you should be able to calculate how many milligram of caffeine you're getting in a day okay so now this is for those who are healthy so which means if you have underlying medical conditions like if you had if you have heart disease if you have kidney or any organ disease you should be consulting with your doctor you should be consulting with your doctor before you consume that amount of caffeine there are some of us who, who are caffeine naive 100 milligram can pull you down all right the people who have built caffeine tolerance for years they have been taking caffeine for years so they have built enough tolerance that even 300 milligram might not push them so they are awake a lot and they keep moving so if you're ca caffeine naive you cannot go uh, buy a weight loss pill and begin to take it right away you should know that you're about to set up a nervous uh, catastrophe I'll put it that way in your body
So okay. what happens when this caffeine goes overboard in your body? You begin to feel nervous, you get agitated, you get easily irritated, you're peeing a lot, that's your urinating a lot, you have muscle tremors, and one of the worst side effects when you get overboard with caffeine is you begin to have uh, heart palpitations because in, in our heart, we are supposed to fire impulses or fire impulses at a particular rate but what caffeine does because caffeine is speeding up every activity in your body your heart rate goes up blood pressure goes up that it can even lead to a heart attack it can even lead to a stroke so this is why you should be careful of what the type of diet pill that you're putting into your mind and this is not just limited to caffeine make sure you're reading the ingredients of uh weight loss pills there are other ingredients like um ephedra hydroxycod i know they've been banned in this part of the world so i don't know the other places where um food and drug administration is not very active you should be reading your labels okay because some of this weight loss pills weight loss diet supplements tea are not um are not controlled or being monitored okay so this is why i came up here to let you know always read caffeine even though you hear a lot of people oh i love caffeine i love caffeine there is a amount that you should be getting in a day especially if you have underlying health, health issues if you're pregnant or if you're seeking to get pregnant there is an amount of caffeine you should be consuming in a day all right so that way you protect your heart you protect um, the organs of your body okay so make sure you always read in labels okay and on the other note if you have any questions concerns about other foods that are like stimulants remember alcohol I don't think we talked about alcohol yet I think it's uh, nicotine I think I talked about smoking so all this are stimulants they like quicking up activities in your body which means they are overburdening your body so remember even though you own the organs in your body they are still in charge you cannot overburden the organs if you begin to overburden the organs they speak back to you in, in fact they pull you back and slow you down so think about where you're stressing your eyes on the phone all the time your eyes will begin to speak to you begin to have eye ache and if you refuse you get a headache and the next thing you drop the phone and get some Tylenol and rest so that's same way with everything we put into our mouth we should be careful and we should always be reading food labels okay so if you're on a job on a weight loss journey whatever way you choose with peel with pills with diet with surgery make sure you're asking questions before you embark on that route okay so i'll be ending it here and if you have any questions please make sure you uh ask your questions in my instagram dm me in my instagrams in my instagram page and i thank you all for supporting me in this page for being here i believe we have like 94 subscribers in a week i don't know i wish i can see your faces and say and give you a hug and say thank you for being here for trusting me like i always say we're gonna do great on this channel a lot of interesting topics and i need you guys to um, also chip in and let me know what topics you want me to talk about in the in the future okay so do have a blessed rest of your day okay bye bye